Hey guys, you ever get to a point where you want to go fishing, you just don't have no bait, you ain't had time to get bait, you're working all the time? Well, that's my situation this morning. So I'm out here trying to catch some bait, some maybe some bluegill or something. And uh, I've got one out there. I'm doing something I ain't never done. It's just let him free line. Just let him swim around like he wants to. So, I don't know. Just kind of getting away from the house, doing a little fishing. See how it goes. I tell you what guys, fishing has been tough for me here lately because I can't get out here and go. I'm having to work. We can't find nobody to work where I, where I work at. I do maintenance for a chain restaurant. We just can't seem to find anybody to work. They all want to work, but they, something's wrong. There's a driving record, can't pass a drug test. Yeah, I don't know, just a lot of little bitty things. But anyway, I'm hoping to get to fish more. I had to drive 100 miles to fish, I mean 100 miles to work every week. Go up there and stay three days. This week I'm going to try to take my boat and fish the Warrior River up around Tuscaloosa. But when I get home, you know, you got chores to do around the house, you got grass cut, you got people to see, talk to, grandbabies, grandkids, the wife to take out to eat, you know. So, which I love all that, don't get me wrong. Just don't have time to fish like I used to. So, hoping that here soon I get a replacement and I can come back to the house. Got fish on there, guys. It ain't a cat, I don't think. Well, it's off. I had that in the free wheel. I had no weights on it or nothing. Like I said, it's not a cat because there wasn't no slime on it. I'm about to change that out. That looks bad. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's no slime on it whatsoever, so. All that gar. Anyway, we gotta get some more bait because I ain't got I didn't have two pieces of bait, two brim, two live bait. Anyway, so what we do. Well we finally got enough bait to bait all my lines. I got cut bait on the first one. The second one is a live one that's free. No weights, no nothing. Next is another live bait, and then on two on the ends a cut bait. Sums out out there in the deeper water. Sums up closer to this drop off, this edge as we got, and there's trash and everything out there. So this flathead has been known here to hang out here. Uh, blues, a little bit of everything because of what's underwater, but. I got a good takedown on the live bait while I go with no weights. I think it was a gar. I, I showed you earlier, I think it was a gar because of, well, for one way, one thing, the way it was swimming. Another thing is no line, I mean, no scale, no slime, no nothing on the line. So I was really not, pretty sure it's a gar. Well, it could have been a strike, but Gars all around here. And this river, when it gets hot, they just go crazy. All right.
don't go on a little bit too much, too fast. And we got one over here now. Right there, cut back. Right there on the end. That was live bait right there. Little flathead, colors. Hope you can see it. Ain't very big, but hey, fish. It was a lot of fun. But anyway, let him go back and get that.
Thanks guys for watching. Sorry about the um, darkness of the video. Didn't realize how much shade would make a difference. But here in Alabama, it's hotter than 400 L. So I'm gonna fish in the shade. Anyway, please hit that subscribe button and come back to see me. Y'all have a great day. See you next time.